Refugees have been coming to Malaysia since the first boats arrived from Vietnam during the Indochina crisis in the mid-70s. There are estimated about 300,000 refugees here today. Malaysia only recognizes two kinds of migrants, legal or documented, and illegal migrants. And refugees, despite having refugee status, are considered illegal migrants. This means that firstly, they are vulnerable to raids, arrests, detention, deportation, and secondly, because they are illegal, they cannot be resettled or integrated into the local community here. So these people, they live their lives perpetually in limbo. My study uh, looks at what a refugee is in Malaysia from two perspectives. I first looked at over 300 news articles and press statements from the government and opposition leaders, the mainstream and alternative press, and NGOs. I then interviewed about 20 refugees to hear their stories about life in Malaysia. So what did I find out? Well, government voices and the all mainstream press represented refugees as illegal immigrants. Um, they were assigned negative and even criminal qualities. Then um, they, this justified measures to continue keeping refugees out of the country and managing those already here as illegals. Opposition voices and alternative press represented refugees along more humanitarian themes. Um, they were represented as needing protection but always passive and always silent. In my interviews with refugees, I found that there was a difference between those who had just arrived and those who had been here a long time. Those that had just arrived subscribed to a more collective refugee identity, one of a helpless victim, denied of basic rights and uh, access to opportunities. They, were, they felt insecure and, and, and fearful all the time. They were always dreaming of resettling to a Western country and all their motivations and actions were influenced by that future hope rather than anything here in the present. Refugees who had been here 10, 20 years or more had a more complex view. They didn't feel like illegals, they felt at home in Malaysia, they enjoyed Malaysian food, the people, culture, they spoke the local languages and often hide their refugee identity by blending in with the local people. They uh, look forward to being very, very much Malaysian. As one 19-year-old refugee born in Malaysia said to me, when I say I'm Malaysian, I'm like half. I'm hiding the other half of myself. So what have I learned from my research? Well, I have found that um, overly simplistic labels such as illegal, criminal, or even victim um, prevents refugees from having a space to contest these labels. Instead, they allow other people to define who they are uh, for fear of rejection or punishment. But surely, these already vulnerable people deserve more, and the change can start with the words that we use. Thank you.